Hey, how's it going, y'all? I'm going to create this quick overview for the phone book assignment y'all have to do tomorrow. All right. So basically what this assignment is, is you're going to be creating a contact, a phone book, and then a driver. And what this program will basically do is, is uh, it will create a menu and you'll get to choose like to add a person to a phone book, to print the phone book. Um, and to initially create this phone book, you're going to need to read from a file and add all the all the people from in the file. All right. Um, basically, what I just said, um, your output is going to basically look something like this. So enter choice A, which should be printed the phone book. Um, it's going to print the person's first name, last name, their home number, their office number, and then their email address. So uh, just to show you all, um, I know just one of these could be kind of difficult to look at so the output should basically look like this okay i know that's you can't see that hold on okay so in your console it should print the phone book menu it should give you the options print the phone book uh sort phone book by first name sort it by last name search contact by last name add contact and quit all right, so first things first, let's print the phone book. All right, um, okay, let me, hold on, let me make it smaller. One second, there you go. Okay, so just like the, the document shows, uh, the output looks like this, and basically, yeah. <laughs> um, so you wanna program it in such a way that it's formatted like this. So by first name, last name, home number, you don't want all of these scattered everywhere. Okay, now let's sort the phone book. Let's sort it by first name. So let's input B. Okay, phone book should be sorted and then let's print it again. All right, so phone book should be sorted by first name. So here we have Bogdan and then all the way at the bottom we have Zach. Okay, and the original phone book wasn't like this. Zach is here and well Bogdan's here anyway okay so now let's let's uh sort it by last name so let's do L let's print and then we're gonna get um it sorted by last name so last name should be first so Bogdan is first again and then all the way at the bottom is Garrett Temple since Temple um is at the very um is basically last <laughs> and make sure to get your uh two string formatted in a way like this you don't want like bogdan bogdanovich uh and then your home number all the way out here somewhere and then email out here as well you want to sort it in such a way all right now let's search okay let's search for Hayes. um and basically if you do search for Hayes, like i did right here um, Nigel Hayes, uh, you want to just output their contact information. And now let's add somebody. Let's add Nikki and Kosa, um, 916, uh, whatever. And then email address n at gmail.com. All right, now let's print the phone book. All right, and see it adds me all the way at the bottom. And it isn't sorted yet because we haven't sorted it. Now, if I do sort it, let's just do by last name and then print. It. Wait, <laughs> oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oops. And then the print and then see it adds me here. And unfortunately it isn't sorted because I didn't add enough numbers in the way I wrote it, <laughs> but with all of these numbers, it should have worked perfectly fine. Okay, so now let's quit. And yeah, there's that. Okay, so now let's go over these classes. Okay, so the contact to Java is just basically the, it's gonna be the object in this assignment. So contact, it will hold a, uh, it'll hold five field values being a two strings being first name, last name, and uh, email address, uh, so three strings in total, and then two uh, longs being the home number and the office number. Okay, 
So of course there's going to be a regular constructor, setters, getters, and a two string. That's basically all for the contact. What it'll look like is basically like this. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. So just make sure you do your Java docs for all your classes. It should be done, done in a way such as this. Okay. You will have all your field values. You will have your constructor. And then here you're going to write all your getters and setters. I didn't include them here because um, <laughs> everybody should know how to do them by now. And then here's the two string. Um, here, you're just going to have to use a bunch of print Fs. Print Fs or a bunch of if else's. <laughs> I did the if else method, the method, I mean, and it takes so long. So I, I just, <laughs> I recommend using print Fs. It'll make your life easier and your code will look so much nicer. Okay. So now let's look at the phone book that Java. So a phone book will do, it will have one field value, which will be an array list of type contact. Okay. And once you make a phone book object, it's going to create this array list, which will hold contacts. Okay. Um, basically what the um, const constructor will do is it will create the array list uh, reading from the file. Okay. All right. And then we will have an add method. We will have a two string. We will also include some of the more um, basically some of the more hard, like you're, you're actually gonna have to work for these methods. So that being bubble sort, selection sort and binary search. So I will just show you bubble sort and selection sort. I will leave some hints and you will have to code those yourselves, but I will help y'all code the binary search. Okay. So let's do that now. All right. So here in phone book, we will start off with of course, our header, make sure to do it in Java docs. Uh, we will have our array list of type contact. Um, here we'll have a default constructor I just included. And then here we'll have our regular constructor. So I wrote the first half, um, basically reading from the file and then uh, initializing, or I mean, declaring all the uh, strings and lungs here. I just left some hints and These hints should help you finish the constructor. Okay The add method is pretty self-explanatory um, It's just one line of code I uh, did two string here. You'll just have to write a regular two string method should not be that hard Okay, bubble sort so um, bubble sort uh, you'll be using to sort by first name and um, basically I have included the first half for y'all, including the, uh, two for loops and then the conditional statement, uh, comparing the first name, the first names to each other. Um, here you'll have to just fill in the rest of the code. I believe it should be just three lines. It could take more. It could take less for some people. And the selection sort should, uh, search by or sort by last name. I, I also included half the code here and then some of these comments are uh, where you're going to have to add code. I think here is around five lines of code, I believe. Well, it doesn't really matter because everybody programs differently, uh, but you could use these comments above such as this as hints on how you could think about programming this. All right. Now our binary search. I will help you all write this. Okay. So with binary search, it's one of the fastest searching methods, in my opinion, um, that you'll learn in Java or CSE 20, I mean. Okay. So what we first must do is we're gonna have to write an if statement. So if uh, this dot context, dot size is bigger than or equal to zero. Okay. Let me scroll down and let me zoom in a little bit. One second, y'all. Okay. Um, and then we'll do if 
this dot contacts oops contacts dot size is equal to or sorry is greater than 14 then we will do this dot selection sort um i added in this by myself is basically um it makes it easier to do the binary search um because if the size is uh, less than 14 it doesn't really matter but if it's bigger than 14 then the binary search will have a really large runtime and it'll just make things annoying okay um so now let's start with the actual binary search so let's um name some variables so let's do some ints okay so we're gonna have an int uh, found index, a minimum, and then a maximum for the binary search. Then let's write our while loop. So while min is less than or equal to max. And then let's start doing all the hard coding. Okay, so int middle, um, then we have to get the middle of the of the list, which will be min plus max divided by two. Okay, so that's basically it for that part of the code. And then we have to have another int we will call current. So current equals last name dot compare to, and then compare to string dot it wait compare wait one second one second compared to ignore case okay and then string dot value of and then i know this is a lot it's a lot of method chaining but we will be there eventually <laughs> contacts dot get middle and then dot get last name all right and i know that's a lot of method chaining but that's how we get the current <laughs> um for it to ignore case and then the exact string value of all right so that was the annoying part of it so now for the binary search, um, if we get to the, um, if current gets to zero, uh, we basically found it. Um, so what we'll do is, um, if current equals zero, we will print out, we'll just paste this in here. We will print out um the context information the context to string and then we will return true all right um and then now we have to do if it doesn't equal zero so else if um, current is less than zero which basically means too high okay um and then what we'll have to do is we'll have to make it max equal to middle minus one making the new max at the middle okay and if it's too low we'll do else he'll write a comment too low too low and then we'll have to do min equals middle plus one and that's basically the binary search um the most complicated part is probably um <laughs> probably this is because it includes a lot of method chaining but after a little bit of practice this this will be fine um so the binary search works in such a way that um here i'll include it here <laughs> so let's just say we have an array like like this with um six uh six values the binary search will um 
check this whole array. Let's just say we're looking for this value, right? Which we search this whole array. It'll take it from the middle and then it'll look. Is this value, um, is this value less than or greater than what we're looking for? And then it'll look, it'll be, oh wait, it's greater than. So we're gonna cut this whole array in half. Now we're gonna search here. And then it's gonna search here. And then it'll be like, oh wait, this is it. And current will equal zero. And then it'll return that contact. <laughs> I know this was a quick explanation, but that's basically how it goes. All right. So that's basically the phone book class. So now let's talk about the driver. Okay. And the driver is pretty simple. All you have to do is create a phone book, read the data in each line. Um, I, I'll show you guys this in a second and then create the contact objects. And then you want to output the menu. And then you want to make a few methods that prints, searches, adds, and um, basically does everything in the menu. Okay. And before I show you the program, first you want to have comments in Java docs. These are necessary for each class, indentation and good programming style, data validation and reading from file, and try catch exception handling, and just follow the specifics. All right. Now let's look at the driver. All right. Um, so here we're going to want to, of course, have our Java doc. We want to, well, I included four global variables being the phone book, the file, the menu, and then a scanner. I started off my program creating the phone book. Um, and this phone book, what it did, it's, um, I passed in a file and then this constructor reads from the file and adds everything in. You could either do the file reading here or you could do it in your constructor. It doesn't really matter. Okay. I set my menu equal to this, um, created a scanner, created a string choice, and then had a Boolean uh, for the while loop. And basically what you do here is you run the system dot out, which is the menu you have. Um, well, you output the options choice you have the choice saved and then you use a switch statement for the choice so if the person inputs p you want to print out and display the phone book if they input b you want to sort by first name and they input l sort by last name s is to search a is to add and q is to uh, quit okay and then a default could just be an incorrect output and it uh, the while loop will run again and then it'll basically look like an error but it won't do anything all right so if the user i'll just show one of the first methods um if the user um inputs print you could have a print method what it'll do it will just print the phone book system dot the print the phone book the two string and that's basically it and you'll just have to do this for search and add and that's about it. And if you want to call one of the search, all you could do is just do phonebook.bubble search or phonebook.selection sort. And yeah, <laughs> that's about it. So yeah, thank you. Uh, good luck with your assignment, y'all. And yeah, have a good one.